The government is giving me money to buy clothes. The stopwatch is killing me. Not like this. Not like this. Over and over and over and over again. Ah! Hey, what's up, nerds? So, last time we were in the fashion bunker, I promised that I would provide a counterpoint to the political views as expressed in these posters. Um, and the best that I came up with is... Cut out of John McCain. Uh, so let's get him up! He's seen better days. You know what I'm saying? Perfect, hey! Perfect, guys! Now, that's what I call some diversity, you know? Like, thank you for your service, sir. Um, yeah. Okay. Welcome back to the Brave New Wear Show. My name's Christian. What if... Now imagine with me. Instead of the nightmare we're living in, we lived in a fantasy world. And the government was so worried about everyone working too hard, so they insisted that everybody stay at home to spend more time with their dogs. While we're spending so much time to fund the arts and the economy, the American government was giving every adult $1,200 to spend exclusively on clothing. And that is the world we're going to inhabit on today's episode. I'm going to kind of imagine what if they didn't have to spend the stimulus check on necessities, and instead it was just found money that I could spend on whatever, so, um, what if I just spent it on clothes? Let's explore that reality. What do you guys think? A James Dean type? Nope. Who, me? <laughs> So, if you caught my last video in the fashion bunker, you remember I kind of made a vow to buy clothing uh, the perfect garment to fulfill a need in my wardrobe. But, in this fantasy experiment, I'm gonna kind of put that idea on pause. So it's definitely something I wanna continue to think about, and in a follow-up video, I want to do like, here's my wish list of garments that would make up the capsule wardrobe. So join me as we do some internet window shopping and let's see what kind of garments we can find. You know what? Let's make it kind of more interesting and add a timer because now I'm going to try to accomplish it in 15 minutes or less. Let's go! Hold on. Boom, boom. Okay. Greedy boots. Okay, okay. That. Hey, that's those are the kinds I like. Perfect. It's a little over twelve hundred, but um, they—that's uh, about my size. Uh, I'm just gonna get these. All right, bye. Redo. Okay. So one of the things I think, like, you could easily blow your whole load on, like, if you wanted to buy anything like retail or in the store. If we're talking like luxury fashion, we're talking good clothes. You could really blow through twelve hundred, especially the stuff that you really want, the, the cops that you really want to cop. Let's do bare knuckles. Jeez, guys, I've never been so nervous in my life. Uh, I really like those sweaters, those cardigans, and they're sold out. <laughs> um, I should have guessed. I should have known. Uh, so let's just zip on over to Grailed. Uh, bare knuckles on here. You know, because, like, eh, you're watching a YouTube video about fashion, that's fashion, you know. Huh? Okay, it's it's loading, it's going. Oh. Steep. Yeah, I was looking, I wanted to see if the cardigan or the sweater were, uh, available or whatever, but it's like, I mean, still four hundred dollars. Even though that's like, what is that? That's um, a fourth, third, sorry, of our um, budget, basically. So it's like, I don't know. I, I this seems like it seems like a really dope piece, but do I want to spend four hundred dollars on something like that? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. 
vests. I want to get like a cool, like military inspired vest. I mean, they're just gonna serve me a bunch of garbage vests. That kind of seems cool. Even though it, when I feel like on Grailed, when people go Japanese brand rare, like when they put those in as brand name, it's like nothing. It's like something they found at a thrift store or like they're just like drop shipping essentially. I imagine this does look cool though. It looks kind of like it is actually like a military issued thing. It kind of like early helmet Lang. I just don't think it's worth twenty dollars, two hundred dollars. Because at the same time, I feel like if we're gonna spend some money like this, especially if it's second hand, I don't know, I want those things to be, like they would reasonably hold value. Uh, and I'm just like scrolling, but what brand should I look for? Gulp! Well, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna be able to finish this. I'm gonna have to blow through some money. Uh, 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 uh. Inspire me, inspire me. Um. This is nothing! That's kind of cool. That is also cool. I like that. That is really cool. This looks pretty dope. Um, let's add it to the list. You know what? This is a game. This is going on here. Boom. That's 175. Guys, somebody um, keep a track. Keep track. Uh, Carhartt Whip. You know, all the uh, country boys watching this video are going to be like, What in tarnation? What? What is going on? There's no car that I know about. Because, like, at least 60 to 70 percent of my audience are, like, quote unquote, country boys. That's kind of cool. The chore coat is kind of cool. Um, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. They make a spring version of the Detroit jacket. Now, the normal Detroit jacket is like a hundred dollars by Carhartt and it's lined it's warm and it's great uh, there the yuppie version the Carhartt whip one that they make a spring version of is like two hundred sixty eight dollars and son. that is wild to me but if it was like the same shape and like a similar feel like a similar mouth feel it's like at the end of the day you're, you're it's your money use it when you need it and the government is giving me money to buy clothes is that lame is that a lame choice the classic uh carhartt well it's not the classic it's hamilton brown it's not the carhartt brown that's there's a difference there um i don't care let's do it boom i might pull that vest out this stopwatch is killing me. Bum, 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 bum. So that's like 200, what, 270, 200 million dollars? 288 dollars. I can hear the country boys yelling. They're going, what in tarnation? Listen, dude, it's like when you live in the city, it's cool to act like you do labor when really you are a graphic designer. Um, okay. Uh, I wanna, do they have, um, overalls? Let's just look, let's just look. You know, because that, that, uh, Joe Exotic video. Bib overalls, they do have them. But I don't know if I wanna do this. Not like this. Not like this. Alright, let's just leave Carhartt Whip for right now. Maybe we'll come back to it. We have the vest and the spring jacket. So, um, well, I mean, we didn't even look at Gweedy boots on here. So, I want the ones with this, I want that zip action in the back. And preferably with the heel. Those, that's just the one that I've always wanted. So, whatever. Gently loved. Hmm. That looks cool. I feel like there's another model, though. I feel like there's a more wild style. Size 44? That's a... Can we trust this guy? I'm just gonna save it. I'm gonna save it and say like, if we have any time left, maybe we'll like decide what we keep and what we get rid of. Like Yoji pants, maybe? Like I was thinking like the balloon pant, but. That's kind of interesting, but a lie. Yikes. 
white pants. What else? What else? What else? Uh, I'm not gonna be able to buy this. Is there any Bodhi stuff? Bodhi. It's probably way too expensive. Um, mm -mm. you know, it's it's up there. It's up there. But like, if we're gonna spend like six hundred dollars or whatever on, that, is that it? Is that all they have? Is this all I'm gonna get for Christmas? Cause I didn't ask for that. Um, that's a size large, which I don't know. I I would rather it be a medium and. You know, even though it's found money, you, you don't want to just throw money away on a jacket that isn't your right size. Uh, they're kind of cool. They're kind of cool, but I do have patchwork jeans already. Those are nice. I think I've seen those in person. They have, they have a really great fit. Um, mm, that's kind of cute. I kind of like that. You know what? If I'm buying a vest, um, get rid of that other vest. I'm going to get this Comme des Garçons one. It's a medium, based on my recollection of like comb pieces, you know, large probably would have been better, but I like that. I like this vest. So I'm actually getting this one because it's about the same price. You guys think I should get this one? Staff pick. They said staff pick. Oh, oh, um, well, that's a om, om please. That's cool. Uh, I'm gonna look at some of the Miyake stuff. Uh, you know what? Um, and I, I use, I, I, I'm, I'm using my power. So it's just a bunch of, it'll be a bunch of editing magic, you know? They don't even know what they want. So, om please. Om. Isai Miyake. The pleats. Pant, pleat pants. Um, this. I don't even know why I'm looking at this. I did have the uh, blue gray in like a wide, which I haven't been able to find anywhere else. I did a video about it. Um, it was kind of a crappy video. But the thing about that was it were they were cool. I would have liked them if they were kind of a little straighter and they were a little too big. It was like elastic waist and I was like, oh, well. I just I was always worried that they were gonna I don't know. I think maybe these are my pants. He says it's a size one, but I so vividly remember that stain. And he's not trying them on. He says they're like a light blue, which they're kind of like gray, so you could easily, you know, you look at the video. But I'm. I might have to do some. This I think this is my pants, guys. He's trying to sell them for $300. I think that's around what I sold them for. I don't need please, please pants. But I love, there are a lot of like Issei Miyake um, outerwear that probably would blow this entire budget. But like he has done really cool outerwear. And I'm not just talking about like, you, you people know like the bomber that uh, has like the wash information or whatever on the back. You know, that is cool. But I'm like, there are like, coats that are just gigantic and like oversized that I, I every time I've seen them that I like I love it and like I really like the bomber that um, Robin Williams there's a picture of him wearing that that's like there are a couple of outerwear pieces from the archives that are super cool um hmm, Margella that's an idea this obviously looks like it is actually the five zip jacket very interesting it is and it isn't I guess I guess that's not like that's not terribly original of a design. It just when I see a bomber like that, I, I I immediately think of the five zip. Are you guys having fun? Do you do you want me to get you anything like I don't know like water? So this is only like four hundred dollars, which I've never seen them that cheap. Uh, and it's a medium, which is you know. I mean, like, am I looking for the the OG like leather one? Maybe not. I, I think that it would be maybe it'd be kind of cool to f do like this ballistics nylon stuff. That it, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm just thinking. Maybe I have enough outerwear. This isn't cotton. That's why it was cheap. But it, it's kind of got this weird finish that I think is kind of cool. 
that's just something that I think. This guy looks super svelte. Um, maybe he's not. Maybe he's tall. This is size medium. I'm just thinking about how it would fit on me. Let's look at this other one. Ballistics gelatin? Not really. The ballistics one is cool, but it definitely feels more motorcycle-y. You know, like definitely the ballistics feels like that's like a real motorcycle jacket, which is interesting. I guess, you know, they think about like how Margiela would try to make like replicas or, you know, was paid a lot of attention to how clothes were made. So there's some relevance to the house and this jacket. But I think we're going to go with this one. You're a joke, you're pathetic. Um, what was that other idea? What was that other deer? Idea? Something on this page inspired me. The, there was the Please Please, obviously. Hyder Ackerman, that's interesting, that's an idea. Mm, acronym. Maybe I should just spend it all on an acronym piece, finally get into, finally for the first time in my life get into, you know. These are kinda cool. Uh, Berluti by Hyder Ackerman, far too expensive, but that is, that's interesting. Oh my god! Staff pick! I, I'm wearing those, guys! <laughs> Why is it even a staff pick? Those are just the price of the shoes on the website. That's dumb. Oh, look at this. This is the Craig Green jacket that matches my pants. Talk about a flex, guys. What if I just wore the whole freaking outfit like a psychotic person? I think that's what we're gonna do. In my imagination, in my mind movies. Um, okay, okay, okay. Boom, okay, so that I kind of basically only looked at outerwear. But, you know, sometimes that's the coolest stuff. Um, okay, okay. I kind of want that car her whip. That car her whip. And, like, for the sake of, like, just trying to do these these mind games quicker. Uh, so, like, 750 plus 288. No. To round it off, and, like, let's just pretend that it's actually closer. It's not 175. Like, I, I'll, I message the dude, and I'm like... It ended up with the Comme des Garçons denim jacket, Carhartt whip, overpriced maybe, spring version of the Detroit jacket, and as as to to just look like a crazy person, but a crazy flex, is the matching Craig Green tent jacket to match my tent pants. So let me know, was this possibly the most boring episode of the show of all time or you've become closer to me in my psychosis uh let me know in the comments below specifically answering that question uh and i'll be back this sunday i've been working on a couple of videos uh you know some of them i get started with and i'm like this is gonna take more time so uh or i get started with and i'm like this is dumb both options happen all the time but be sure to uh, like the video please comment below and subscribe and hit the bell notification because I post twice a week and I will until the Sun explodes